Hey, Rise Church, Pastor Aaron here with our Rise Church Weekly Devotional. We're in a series of talks called The Power in Pain. The Power in Pain. That pain has power to it. Last week we talked about the idea that pain can be our friend. But the only way pain can be our friend is if we see it correctly. And I believe that you and I this year, in this mom- month, in this moment, we can see the pain that maybe you're going through right now, the pain you're going through from your past, or maybe even the pain you're going to have in your future, you and I can see it correctly. But this week, we want to talk about a new topic when we're talking about the power in pain, and that is simply this, that pain is inevitable. Pain is inevitable. And, and the reason that I'm saying this to you is because if you're a leader, If you want to grow, if you're trying to get someplace different, have something different, oftentimes that change is going to require growth and that growth is going to require some level of pain. And you and I need to make peace with it. I I like this statement. It says, if you're going to, when you make peace with pain, you'll have peace with pain. And so it's it's kind of one of those things where you need to just get in your mind, if I'm going to grow, I'm going to go through some type of pain. You will only grow to the threshold of your pain. The only difference between where I am now and where I'm going is the pain I'm willing to endure. I'm going to say that again. The, the only difference between where I am now and where I'm going is the pain that I'm willing to to endure because pain is inevitable. I like it. Somebody once said pain is par for the course. Now, if you have never golfed before, par for the course simply means that, hey, that's what was expected. Um, When you make par on a hole, they expected you to take that many shots to uh, accomplish the hole, to get the ball in the hole. And and I remember when I was uh, first starting golf, the person that was teaching me how to golf, he said, golf is an endurance sport. And I said, golf's an endurance sport. You know, I'm not I'm like, this isn't long distance running. You know, there's this is not a typical thought of an endurance sport. I said, what do you mean? He said, if you can endure the pain early on, you can experience the pleasure later on. And um, he was just simply saying that, like, if you're going to grow in this sport called golf, you're going to go through a lot of painful moments where you don't do well. But if you stick with it, you can eventually learn from it. I like what First Peter chapter 4 says, Dear friends, don't be surprised. He starts off. He says, look, this is par for the course. This is inevitable. This is the way it goes. If you're going to do something great in this world, if you're going to do something for God in this world, You're going to have pain. So don't be surprised at the fiery trials you're going through. As if something was strange was happening to you. He said, instead, be very glad for these trials. You make your partners with Christ and his suffering so that you will have wonderful joy of seeing his glory when when it all is revealed to the end of the world. Peter is telling us that if we're going to grow, if you're going to lead, if you're going to do something great in this world, pain is inevitable. A great marriage you're going to go through some pain. If you want to great, uh, be a great parent, you're going to go through some pain. If you want to um, have a great career, you're going to go through some pain. If you want to be a great person and a godly woman, a godly man of, of, for, for Christ, you're going to go through some pain. You're going to have to make peace with it. It's inevitable. But I love this that God's with us in our pain. Let me pray for you. Father, I thank you today that, God, when we make peace with pain, we will have peace with pain. That that we will have peace, God, that that not comes from an absence of pain, but the peace that comes in the midst of pain, which is more powerful, which is really your presence. Thank you that you grow us through trials, that our, our, our faith is tested and our endurance is put to the test, and we know we can come out better than we ever thought possible. I pray that we would understand the power in pain today. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, hey, so glad that got to meet with you today in Rise Church's weekly devotional. Can't wait to see you next week as we continue the idea of power in pain.